Aquaculture production in India has grown over sixfold in the last two and a half decades. Water aquaculture contributes over 95%. The sector is contributing significantly to the agricultural GDP and nutritional security of the country. With the average annual growth rate of 6%, aquaculture established itself as the second largest producer in the world. Aquaculture has established itself as an important rural development activity, both for livelihood security and as an industrial enterprise. The Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture, also known as CIFA, is the premier institute for research and development of freshwater aquaculture in India within the ambit of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, Government of India. With its origin as a pond culture division of SIFRI at Katak, Orissa in 1949 and further upgraded as FARTC in 1978 at its new sprawling campus of 147 hectares at Bhubaneswar, CIFA became an independent institute in 1987. In its two decades of existence as an independent institute, CIFA has become a center of excellence in research, training and extension for tropical freshwater aquaculture and has been accredited as lead center for carp farming under the network of aquaculture centers in the Asia Pacific. CIFA was the proud recipient of the best ICAR institution award in the past in recognition of its significant achievements on all fronts. CIFA is mandated to conduct research, training and extension programs in freshwater aquaculture with a vision to make Indian freshwater aquaculture globally competitive. The institute has a mission for developing sustainable and diversified aquaculture practices for increasing fish production and productivity through responsible aquaculture. We would like to implement the concept of farmer first in its letter and spirit so that the farmer gets increased income and attains better economic status. The central focus of the institute has been development of technologies pertaining to breeding, seed production and grow out farming of major, medium and minor carps, catfishes, prawns, anabas, murals and other commercially important fishes besides ornamental fishes and mollusks for freshwater pearl production. The technologies developed at CIFA emerge from its research in fish genetics and biotechnology, nutrition and physiology, fish health management, environmental monitoring, aquaculture engineering, economics, statistics and extension. The Institute has three regional centers located in Bangalore in Karnataka, Vijaywada in Andhra Pradesh and Rahara in West Bengal with its field station in Kalyani to cater to the regional needs besides a Krishi Vigyan Kendra in the CIFA campus at Bhubaneswar. CIFA possesses well-equipped laboratories, yard facilities and over 400 pond facilities of assorted sizes. Hatcheries for diversified species of carps, catfishes, murals, freshwater prawns and ornamental fishes. Facilities for flow-through culture, cage culture and integrated farming, feed plant for preparation of pelleted feed, attic as a single window delivery system, bioinformatics center and a rich library facility form part of the available infrastructure. A large aquarium possessing over 100 important varieties of freshwater and marine fish has been a unique attraction for the students, hobbyists and tourists. The Institute has a number of achievements and has some very important technologies to its credit. Some of these are prolonged and multiple carp breeding, off-season breeding of carps, cryopreservation of carp milt, intensive carp production technology for 10 to 15 tons per hectare per year in static ponds, diversification of carp culture and multiple cropping, induced breeding of major and minor carps, sewage fed aquaculture, breeding and seed production of catfishes like magur, singhi, pangas, 
yellow catfish and pabda. Breeding, seed production and grow out culture of freshwater prawn. Breeding and culture of anabas and murals. Breeding of several indigenous and other ornamental fishes and freshwater pearl culture. Some other significant contributions of CIFA to the new aquaculture technologies are fertilization practices for different categories of ponds, micronutrient application for productivity enhancement, duckweed fish-based wastewater treatment, biofertilization with azola as substitute for chemical fertilizers, designing of hatcheries and farm ponds, Genetic improvement in Rohu, Jayanti, through selective breeding with 17% higher growth response per generation after seven generations has been one of the most significant achievements. Ongoing programs on selective breeding of Rohu for disease resistance and giant freshwater prawn for growth are expected to have a significant effect on the future of aquaculture. The basic and strategic research of CIFA is focused on development of microsatellite DNA markers, DNA barcodes for carps, characterization of etelogenin, gonadotropin-releasing hormones, and gonadotropin hormone in Indian major carps. Research in the frontier areas such as embryonic and spermatogonial stem cell is also being carried out in the Institute, which is of keen interest to researchers. Nutritional requirements, nutrient digestibility, and certain digestive enzymes in carps and catfishes have been studied for formulation of feeds for various growth stages of carps, catfishes, and prawns. Ready to cook and ready to serve breaded buttered fish fingers, fish balls and fish patties, etc. have been developed for value addition. Development of fiberglass reinforced plastic portable carp hatchery, mechanical pond applicator, demand and automatic feeder, mobile aeration device for large culture ponds, mechanical harvester, and low-cost handy cryo-freezer are some of the important products that are the pride of the Institute. The Institute has also developed several formulations and diagnostic kits which include CFAX for controlling EUS, CIFA Cure to treat microbial infection in ornamental fish, ELISA-based immunodiagnostic kits against bacterial diseases, Immunoboost C, an immunopotentiating agent raising healthy carp seed, and nested RT-PCR-based diagnostic against white-tailed disease of freshwater prawn by Noda virus. Various products developed by the Institute have also been patented and commercialized. The Institute collaborates with several national and international agencies and is at present operating over 30 internationally funded projects, besides undertaking several consultancy and contract research programs on different aspects of aquaculture. The Institute is also actively engaged in human resource development through organization of national and international training programs and technology dissemination through developmental projects in all parts of the country, including the Northeastern region. With a slogan of Grow Fish and Grow With Fish, CIFA has pledged for the overall development of the freshwater aquaculture sector in the country. <laughs>